Let's rip into this last one. Big push. Just drive from the arms. Let's go. Let's go jogging. The last hill. Last UK hill of the winter. Make it a good one. Almost for sure. It's been a while since my last video. I think the last time I graced your small screens of YouTube, uh, I was out in Melbourne still. Since then, I've managed to get over the jet lag. That was a tough travel day, like 24 hours getting back. And I kind of went back to the long stuff again after that. So I focused more on like winter training. So we went back to the hills, back to the grass session, back to a bit more mileage. Uh, and I tested my fitness out at an event called uh, Podium 5K, which was on a cycle track uh, in Leicester where they brought over some unreal athletes. I think it was won by Hagos Gebrewer in, was it 13, 19, I think. And then, yeah, a mere 30 odd seconds back was myself, which for me was like a big improvement on anything I'd done on the road in 5K before. It's not something that I enjoy doing or I'm good at. So it was nice to test myself and kind of knock a little bit off my time for, for that, which is getting a bit more respectable. Um, I then had four days of no running which is just my end of winter which we normally do every year and that's a chance to kind of you're not going to lose anything physically you're not going to lose fitness but a chance to like mentally switch off and reset so saw some mates saw some family went and watch some football oh. generally felt like i wanted to get back training again which is nice um and since then uh, i'm just getting back into the swing of things so this is the kind of i think the most important part of the year where we transition from going into winter to summer, most things can like go wrong here. So you gotta be so careful to make sure that your body's ready for that speed work. And a couple more weeks here before I go to Blackstaff where a lot of the running community currently is. So I think by the time I get there, everyone's pretty much left, which great look for me. But yeah, we're today still on hills. This is my last hill session, I think before we get to flag, we maybe do one more and then Follow that up with going to see my S&C coach for a lifting session, which should be an alright day. It's grim outside, which makes it more appetising to leave this place, which a couple of weeks' time that'll happen. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. This, on. So this is the kind of hill you love, because it starts flat, goes steep, and goes flat at the end. So it's a kind of Z, Z shape. So you've got a bit of momentum going into it. You have to work a bit of momentum off the top of it. Not so the recovery is too long. So they should be like 60 or 70 second reps and then four short ones at the end just to really make people feel sick. <laughs> yeah, but we're here, it's Richmond Park. So this is not my favorite because we're literally on the doorstep of Bushy. So this is yeah. where we come and long run. It's normally beautiful and picturesque, but I am freezing so I can't <laughs> see it in any good light. But yeah, Dykes is yeah. here. He doesn't join us that often, but he's tougher than the rest of us in his shorts. Yes. It's not cold. No, we're just, we just soft, don't we? <laughs> we're just soft. But yeah, it's, um, we haven't done these hills for a while. We normally go and do like grass ones over in Guildford Way, so hopefully we get a little bit more purchase off the ground. But Zach's on his way. He's currently got lost on the way to the park. There's only a few ways you can get in, so yeah, we'll stand here and freeze while waiting for him. So we're just over a month since um, Jake and uh, Tom Keane returned from Melbourne, and it's been good. Uh, we've looked at best ever January, best ever February, probably best ever March, all things considered. Um, the continuity's been there, so he's had the luxury of four planned days as a break at the end of winter, which never happened last year because he was always playing catch up. So it, everything's been on schedule so far, touch wood. Because I don't want the recoveries going out much beyond two minutes. So 2.20 tops and, and definitely consistent. These are new Rebels, yeah. I wear them for like, like every hill session I do and then like grass sessions and stuff like that. They just, um, yeah, it's nice not having carbon for every single okay. session.
good, yeah. Good session at the moment. I mean, the conditions are always different. They've got quite a stiff breeze at the top of the hill here, but yeah, it's all going well, all uh, improving. So they started at 73s and we're now down to 66s, which suggests that they went a bit too easy on the early ones. <coughs> Seven five, Zach. Sixty eight eight, Daxi. Seventy point nine, Jake. Not this one, mate. Right, let's jog back. Short ones now. Let's go. Oh. Nine one, thirty flat, thirty one one. Those are the times to beat. Twenty. Drive your arms. Come on. Push it. That's it. Drive through. Other way. Drive through. Twenty nine two, twenty nine five, thirty point six. That must be sure. See ya. Yeah. Ten. 25! Let's rip into this last one. Big push. Just drive from the arms. Let's go. Let's go jogging. The last hill. Last UK hill of the winter. Make it a good one. Let's go, let's go right through. The only one who got the full progression there on the last lot was Michael. Is that returned on the last one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the long ones did me in so bad. That last long one, I was crocked. We went a bit harder on the middle with reps of the long reps. There was a couple of raw ones in there, wasn't there? Yeah. Now that was our last hill session back here. I think we're going to do by the sounds that one in Flagstaff. But normally the hills we have done are much slower, which aerobically very hard, but your legs just slowly fatigue, whereas that one, there's all of a sudden it just bites. So that I think definitely myself and Zach and Mike surely as well, but I was already popped by the last four thirties that we had, which made them very tough work, but 30 seconds you can always get through. The chat stopped, stopped after five. Yeah, there wasn't much laughing about, was there? And it wasn't a lot of smiling after eight. Right. No, definitely not. It's chicken pesto pasta from last night, one I made Chef's earlier. Not a hard day, that. It was nice having the weather wasn't smile. great. I think it would have been nice yeah. to get a tailwind up the hill, but ah. yeah, just a long time out there. Wait, that I think that's wrecked me a bit. Yeah. 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 All the other boys are leaving me. So then they're going to go and do their gym later, whereas we're off to Weybridge to see my SNC coach Andy. Hopefully get another good session in there and I'll be done by about 4 o'clock, hopefully, which is a nice day. Normally I'm not done until like 6 when I've done my gym. So yeah, just got to get this down in and another coffee and I think I'll be ready to go. My drill shoes, all round, good bit of foam. Yeah, we're back. I haven't seen Andy for a while, to be fair, so it's always a much better session coming to see him good to check in with him to be able to know that I'm actually lifting well. A lot of the time I see him and he'll realise I've probably been lifting pretty pretty rubbish technique wise. Um, but yeah, it's always a much nicer session and I think there's probably a few things after my strength testing to change, so it'll be good to see what he thinks of that. But yeah, the man, the myth, the legend. So today we've got a um, low body strength and power session with Jake. Um, so we're going to start off with basically some prehab, warm up type activities to get him moving and kind of get a look at where Jake's at. 
and then we're going to go to some plyometrics and jump into high activities some heavy lifting with a focus now this time of year um, on really sort of working on faster more explosive type movements um, and then we're going to do some conditioning work at the end really honing in on some of the work about james car cycles that kind of stuff the best thing about being with andy is he, he sets everything up as well for me <laughs> so i don't have to faff about putting stuff together as much this for me. Which just tells you, yeah exactly, it's mental isn't it? Yeah. There's something about the number I think that gets me. Oh, yeah. We're messing about, big aggressive pulling pads, 3, 2, 1, let's go, let's up. go! Oh, I'm up to B. Yeah. We've got about 75. I reckon drop it to 60, do a couple. Okay. You fatigue now as well, so just to get it back in your head. I feel easy now. Yeah. Hold it there. Alright. Hold it there again next Yeah, time. yeah, just do one more. Day. My gym was alright. It was uh, good considering how tired my legs were after this morning and uh, I dread how I'm going to feel waking up because the combination of DOMS from those hills, the combination of DOMS from new exercises and I say lifting heavy weights but heavy for me um, means that I think tomorrow is going to be a bit of a painful wake up but not many more days of that much like volume and yeah that that much I, I guess like time on the legs going up a hill like that we're going to move on to like faster track stuff probably the stuff I enjoy a bit more which I don't think many people enjoy those hills Mike seemed to enjoy it a bit more but uh, yeah from here it's just gonna get a bit more like a bit more serious a bit closer to crunch time like the paces are gonna be a bit more relevant to what we're doing so that's where the the kind of real stuff starts and then I think I'm gonna race in about a month's time so looking forward to actually getting a track season this time touch wood because everything's in a good place at the moment which is nice and a few things that I can just keep building on all the way through until July, August, which is exciting to know that I've got room to go still. But yeah, I hope that day wasn't too boring for everybody and uh, shows how hard some days like this are, but we always have to back up with a much easier day, which tomorrow's gonna be. But thank you for watching if you've lasted this long.